I'm going to start by opening up with a statement. You know, I, I want to clarify just my comments after the game. You know, I, I really, it's important to me that I, I meant no disrespect to Coach Corso, uh, the person. And I want to make sure that, you know, that that's well understood. I had an opportunity. Uh, I called him on Sunday. We had a great conversation. And I just really, you know, appreciate his understanding. And, and he's an old ball coach, and, and he got it. Uh, meant no disrespect uh, to College Game Day. Uh, the partnership with Game Day in Washington State is is well known, and obviously our flag, Old Crimson, 290 plus days, uh, I think is really important. They're tremendous for our brand and, and what they do for us nationally every week. And it was never a comment about disrespect towards any of those people. And you know, my frustrations really still stem from you know, there's a conglomerate of people that have made a lot of decisions that have been outside you know, our, mostly our control. And the lack of clarity uh, based on the metrics and the real facts, you know, is where my frustration really comes from. You know, and I think it is my job to stand up for the people of Washington State, you know, because I think these decisions greatly impact all of us. You know, it impacts our academic institution, our faculty, student body, alumni, you know, the community, Pullman at large. I mean, the grocery store owner down the street, I'm fighting for, you know, my staff and their families, you know, all the men and women in our athletic program, you know, it's really important, you know, but most importantly, like, I'm standing up for our student athletes. They're the ones that are impacted the most. And, you know, I think a lot of decisions that are made, you know, impact players, right? We're going to move this team to this conference and these games are going to be awesome. You know, but as coaches, like, we deal with people, 18 to 23 year old people, uh, that it matters greatly to. And I think there's more pressure on young people today than ever before. And, you know, my number one job is to equip them with a toolbox to handle these things. And in our four years together here, there's been plenty of those situations. And, and I just want to make no mistake about it. Like, you know, these guys matter to me. And it isn't about Cam throwing touchdowns. You know, it's about 15 years from now, like Cam sends me a Christmas card and I see him with his kids and his wife and his family and I know I've done everything to just make sure he's a good husband and father. You know, and it's not about RJ or BJ getting sacks. You know, it's about me instilling character values and discipline and hard work in those guys that they go impact this world the way they want to do it. You know, so I have a lot of vested interest in our people here. And the players will always be number one. And I've been really appreciative of their focus, their discipline. You know, obviously we're off to an amazing start and want to keep building on that. Um, but these decisions do impact us all. And, and going forward, you know, our whole focus is on helping Kirk and Pat, like, find the next wave for Washington State. You know, we want to compete at the highest level, and we believe and know we can do that. And that's going to be our focus going forward, and I'm excited to be a big part of that. Can you just kind of, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, can you just kind of take us through kind of a step-by-step -step of what the rest of the week looks like for you, uh, bi-week-wise? Well, I think we changed up because this is different because we have an early bye week. So we did want to stay a little bit for the first part of the week on schedule. High intensity, low duration. And we're going to get ahead on UCLA. So I think we spent about six periods today of getting ahead and getting some good work. Obviously, the good on good was mostly some of the twos and getting those guys some experiences in a two-minute drill. Uh, so we'll stay the course Tuesday, Wednesday, a walk through Thursday. Then we'll have our guys off through the weekend, and we'll come back Monday afternoon ready to get to work and really put in that game week. And the coaches, when do you guys take off for recruiting? So I'm actually leaving Wednesday. I got a long trip ahead of me. You'll, we'll discover that when we get there. But uh, excited for that. And then we'll have a uh, kind of a coordinator crew here on Thursday. Well, a lot of the other coaches will get out. And it's a big week for us. You know, I, that's why I like the early bye week, to get out there and see our commitments and, and see some guys that we're still vetting. And, you know, it's a lot, a lot of great time to be able to do some of those things, too, while we give our guys a little break. Probably fair to assume that when UCLA week rolls around, uh, Carlos will play a fifth game and, and burn his red shirt. Yeah, Carlos is Carlos is is there and ready to go. And you know, uh, Lincoln might be a couple weeks. You know, so we're we're gonna put him in in the, you know that slot situation with Isaiah and utilize his skill set. We recruited uh, Carlos really to play both. So uh, I've been just happy with him and, and how he's attacked every situation that's been uh, presented to him. I was going to ask about Lincoln. You said about a couple weeks. Yeah, and uh, final Lincoln. I mean, he spent if there's 24 hours in a day. He might have spent 25 hours in this building getting rehab. So he's working his tail off just to get back. And he's going to give this team anything, everything he's got. He's an emotional leader for us. So it's important still to see him out here 
uh, but we'll get him back when he's ready. But a, a high ankle is hard with the receiver position, but he'll be ready to go when, when he's ready. And then just any other freshman you're kind of still making the decisions on? We've seen Khalil, we've seen Ansel uh, multiple times. No, I think Khalil, Ansel, and Bobby, and we're going to keep pressing on those guys to continue to get better. And Khalil had one heck of a game. He was a good bright spot to that uh, defensive tackle unit and excited about a lot of the things that he's doing. What uh, – so I know um, – I lost my, I lost my, I lost my it's all right, Greg. It's, it's a big moment. It's a big moment. Everyone's watching. <laughs> what uh, I know before the season, you wanted Can to be more of a vocal yeah. leader so far. I'm wondering kind of what you've seen out of him in that way so far. Uh, some highs and some lows. Sometimes that we still point out to him, you know, when we need him and what he's looking like. But I think one of the biggest things that I've noticed is game day. You know, I think he's going up and down. He's talking to the linemen. He's getting the receivers on the same page. He's taking ownership of mistakes. Uh, that, that's the type of leadership that we want to continue to have. There's some things that I showed him yesterday off the tape, and you know I'm, I'm expecting him to go out there and want to get better at those things. But these are the moments of real leadership, right? There's not a game for 12 days. You could come out here and joke around and mess around, or you come out here and take the right attitude, and I thought he was pretty good today. And I know um, after the uh, Colorado State game, you were like, you know, no one is harder on Cam than himself. Yeah. Have you seen that? Continue or like when he makes mistakes like the fumble the other day, how have you seen him respond? I've seen it continue because we had a, you know, we meet on Monday and just kind of go over his performance and things that he's seen and what we need to do better. And, you know, I said kind of grade yourself. And I think he said like a C plus. And I was like, man, I didn't see a C plus. Uh, he was fantastic. Uh, I love that he wants to be coached. He wants to learn. Uh, and those are great qualities to have. And I think a future franchise NFL quarterback. Is it ever a problem with him? I know cause he, he's racking the back away left and right. I mean, whether it's from PFF or Pac-12 Offensive Player of the Week. Yeah. Do you um, – how have we seen him, like – does he care about those things at all? Or, like, like what's his response usually? Well, we kind of had a conversation, not just with Cam, but as a team. Oh, there's a lot of love being heaped on the Cougs now, right? There's a lot of love from, from all different places, and a lot of times you earn that. But you got to stay humble and you got to stay hungry. The the secret and successes that have led us to this point, we got to remember what that is. Because as soon as we forget who we are, you know that's when we're going to get beat. And this UCLA team that we're playing, I mean, this schedule that it keeps going, I think those are great. I've always said that within team accomplishments, uh, you know, come individual awards, right? So as long as our team keeps doing well, those things happen, and rightfully so. And I'm excited for those guys. Because I think Cam has played to a level that deserves national attention. I believe that. And I think he's equipped mentally to handle those things. This is way off the wall for you. But there is, I'm not even sure what his name is, but there's a student here who draws up these like game day posters. Like the other day he drew up like the uh, Beaver from Morgan State and the, and the yeah. Butch from here. And they print them out and hide them somewhere in the stadium. Are, are, are you like aware of this or like what? what, 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 what Greg, there's a lot of things that um, I do that, that happen around here that I'm not aware of, and that is definitely one of them. So if that's happening on game day, I, I don't want to be aware, but I think it's a great thing that we're doing. Okay. Um, after the game on Saturday, Cam was talking about the O-line and just crediting them and saying even the sack they gave up. He was yeah. like, you know, I could have been a little faster. I could have been this, could have been that. What does that say about the relationship and the trust that those guys have in that relationship there? Well, first, I think it says a lot to the job that Coach McGuire has done to get these guys to that point. We are a completely different offensive line last year to this year. And now that you're playing light competition, you, you really see it. We thought that, but now you really see it. So credit to Coach McGuire, but really credit to those players. They went out there, every one of them across the board, like, I can't even tell you, their strength numbers just jumped through the roof. And that's a dedication to how they wanted to get better. The communication, the work that they're putting in, and I think Cam is really invested in those guys. And he knows the key to his success is keeping them upright and clean. Uh, but I love that he takes ownership of those issues. And him and Connor, I mean, they grind out those protections. They do. And I think that's an important relationship that every quarterback needs to have. Obviously, you touched on this, but kind of the age old question of when you are getting all this love and the Cougs are getting the attention, how do you balance it, but also let yourself if you do it all, kind of have the satisfaction of what you guys have accomplished thus far? Well, I think, you know, the old school 24-hour rule. I mean, you got to celebrate it for 24 hours. And like I said, after the Wisconsin game, I've digested that thing. And we're out here hungry, ready to go, and ready to compete. And I think, you know, as you keep stacking wins, I think the belief level of your program continues to rise. And these guys are going to do everything possible to continued success. 
creating success and sustaining success is two different ball games. And this is going to be a hard road and, uh, you know, excited to get the bye week, get, get healed up and attack the last eight games. All right, go Cougs.